Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about two library functions which are fgets and fputs. fputs function is used to write the string to a file while the fgets function is used to read the string from a file. So let's begin. First, let's talk about the fputs function. Now, fput function takes two arguments in which first of all is the string and the other argument is the file pointer. Okay, so I am opening a file abc.txt with the mode w, then I am checking that if the file is opened successfully, right? I am assuming that the file is open successfully right now. Now, let's say I want to write that in this file. So I can write here f puts and then I'll write the string that is THAT and then the file pointer. Now file pointer is FP. So I'll write here FP. Okay. So what will happen when I will execute this program, the THAT will be written to this file. Similarly, let's say I want to write another string, then I can write F puts, then is okay, and then FP. Right? There is also space. So space and then is that is will be written. Now after writing the content that is after writing the string our fp is, is start to point to the next location. Remember that that is why when I am writing f puts again then it is writing the content from this location. Okay. So similarly let's say I again want to write is then I can write f puts and then space then I write a and then file pointer. Okay. So now a space a will be written here and now fp will point to this location after writing this string okay so this is how we are able to write the contents using f puts function now there is one thing that you may not like here that i am writing a static data now what is i mean by static data is that i already know that what is going to be written in this file there should be some mechanism in which a user write the data and that particular data should be stored in that file so basically i will be taking the input from the user and that particular input should be stored in the file for that we will use the array of character okay so i'll make character array let's say maximum size of 80 right and then i will not use this directly now first of all i'll make a infinite loop that is while one and then i will ask the user to give me some input okay and whatever the user is going to write it is going to store in this character array okay and whatever the user is giving it is going to be write in our file okay like this now let me run it first of all our loop is true so it will take the input whatever the user will give input it is going to this array okay stored in this array and then that particular string is going to be written in this file pointer or in this file so let's say i write here when i'm giving the input i'm writing that and then i'm hitting enter then in that case that this character this string will be written replace here and this particular string will be written so here it will be written that okay again the loop will run and then, then let's say i'll write here space and then is okay then this string will be again written here right but here is a one problem is that this loop is infinite loop and there is no mechanism right now to know when to break this loop for that i will write a condition if strlen of ch is equal equal zero then break now what is happening let's say in the first iteration i'll write here that okay that this condition will be false because the length of that will be 4 which is not equals to 0 okay in the next iteration the let's say i'll write here is then again it will be 2 and this condition will be false now let's say in the next iteration i write the enter in that case the length of our string will be 0 in that case this condition will be true and this loop will be terminated and the final content which will be written will be that is okay so this is i had used to terminate the loop whenever the user want to stop writing to a file okay now one thing to remember here is that whatever i am giving writing here it is going to be 
written in the single line for example i write here in the next iteration i write here a then here and then let's say again hi okay everything is going to be written in a single line to eliminate this problem what i will do i will write here f puts and then i'll write here slash n and then comma fp okay so let's say first of all the user is given to the console and it is writing that is awesome okay so that is awesome is going to be stored in this character array right then it will check it this condition will be false and now everything will be returned to this file so here it will be written that is awesome right and after writing this slash n will be returned to this file so basically the file pointer will now be pointing to this location okay loop will again run then user will again write something let's say he, he write that this is okay so this is okay will be written by this line okay and then this line will execute and it will again write slash n okay so slash n or i can say say that the file pointer will now in the next particular line now one thing to always remember is that whenever i am writing slash n our f put function is going to convert this into slash r slash n okay so i can write or i can say at the end this is going to be written okay instead of sing simple slash n this slash n is going to be converted into the slash r slash n by the f puts library function so remember this point because this will be useful in the when we will talk about the f gets function right so this will be slash n will be converted to the slash r slash n so this is how we can dynamically take the input from the user and write the content to a file okay i am considering that after if this content is written okay then i'll end it and after here i should also write here f close f p right then i'll write here else print f enable to open file okay and exit you can send zero or one anything you like zero to tell the OS that the program execution has been done successfully and exit one for non exit non zero value to tell the operating system that there is some sort of problem while running this program okay and that will be our end of our program okay now remember that when i am closing the file then uh, file terminating character that has the sky value of 26 will be returned to the end of the file so remember this point also when i am closing the file which is opened in the w mode so now let's talk about the fgets method to read the string from a file. Note that previously when we were writing the string to a function, we were using gets method. So we have to include this file string.h header file. Okay, so remember that. Now let's talk about the fgets method. Okay, fgets. Now fgets method takes three arguments. Okay, first of all, we have to write some character array. Okay, character array here then we have to write how many characters you want to read let's say i'll write here 10 and then you have to specify the file pointer for reading so i'll write here file pointer right so now let's say our file abc.txt exists and the content is the same which was written by our fputs method and it is opened in the r mode or reading mode so first of all what i will do i'll write here f gets ch and then i'll write here 10 and then fp okay now what will happen the first nine characters note that first nine characters is going to be stored in this array okay after that if i write here let's say print f percent s and i'll write here ch then it is going to be give me output of nine line nine characters so one two three four five six seven eight nine so it will give me output as this space is space a okay now again let's say i'll write here f gets ch and i'll write here let's say two and then fp okay now the ch content will be overwritten by the next two characters okay first in the first iteration or in the first time after after returning the character the fp will be pointing to this location and then it will start reading from this location so now i can write print f 
percent s and then ch okay it will give me output from this location to two characters so it will be w e there are some of the points that you have to remember first of all our f gets function is going to replace slash r slash n string to slash n slash zero okay so remember that whenever we are reading the file our slash r slash n is going to be replaced by slash n and slash zero basically after at the end null character then let's say i write here the maximum number of character present in the line more than the maximum number of character present in this line so basically it will read the character until it encounters the slash n so let's say there are number of character is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay and then there is a slash n 16 okay so now let's say i write here 18 now in that case what is going to happen that it is only going to read up to the end of this string right it is not going to return me the next particular character right so remember that so in that case also it is give me the entire line so here will be that is awesome and then fp will be pointing to this particular location right so let's say i'll write here 20 now it will give me 20 character in the same line if it is not encountering the slash zero so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so it is encountering the null character so it will only print the data up to this line okay so in this case it is given me output as this is okay right so remember this point now let's say that here i am reading the string one by one but let's say i want to make a general program in which entire content of the file will be read by the program okay so first of all i am writing here fp not equal to zero then i'll use a infinite loop so i'll write here while one okay and then i'll write f gets and then ch then let's say the range maximum range 79 and then fp okay then i'll write here print f percent s and then ch right and that will be all now what will happen first of all it is going to read maximum of 79 characters okay and if there is null character before the ending of 79 it is going to stop there and the fp will go to the next particular line remember that okay so it will read the content and it will store the content in ch array right so then I'll, i'm writing here print a percent as ch so all the first line will content of first line will be printed here and it will give me first of all this is awesome right then the loop will again run and in that particular case the fp will be pointing to this location so it will give me the content of this line okay and then here it, it will be stored in the ch array and then it will give me output as this is okay right in the next iteration what will happen that f gets will be pointing to the next particular location okay and in that particular location nothing is written in that case it will give me output as or return the null okay since we are trying to read a file which does not have any content then in that case it will return us null okay and that we will use for terminating from the loop so i'll write here if f gets ch 79 fp is equal equal null then break okay so let me run this loop again now first of all it is reading the character it is reading the content fp up to 79 character so ch will be stored the content of 79 character of this string and that will be printed here because this condition will not be returning me null similarly in the next iteration also this will be false and the content will be printed in the r terminal or output screen right in the next iteration when the fp will be here it will try to read the line that does not exist then it will return me null basically no contents are present here so it will return us null and then the loop will terminate because the condition will be true here now instead of writing the condition in the if block i can directly write the condition here also okay so i'll write here while f gets ch 79 and then fp not equals to null okay so what it means that anti nullness the returning the returning thing by the fget function is not equal to null keep doing printing the 
content of the ch okay so this is how we can also do it in the previous method also you can go with any method both method are same this much is used generally because this makes the code number of lines smaller i hope you get the idea how we can read the string from the file and also how we can write the string to the file okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video